Hi, my name is Daphna Naftali. I'm a composer, a singer, an improviser, and I've been working with live electronics and audio processing over the last few years using a computer program called Max and a high-end effects processor called the Eventide H3000. I'd like to take a few minutes just to explain what it is I've been doing. The effects processor that I use is most commonly found in recording studios and at radio stations, but it also has an extensive MIDI implementation, which means that I can use commonly found MIDI controllers to access all of the parameters on each program that's there. S for instance, I can control things such as reverb and delay and pitch shifting. And each of these things, as I control it, can be d handled in fairly efficient ways that would actually allow me to treat the unit as a musical instrument and almost as if it was a real-time sampler. Most often I'm using it in an improvisational setting with other musicians taking their input into a mixer during a performance and maybe processing a saxophone, a trumpet, a guitar, sometimes a DJ, sometimes a percussionist. And each of these instruments has had its own sound world that I can work within. And so I almost have a twofold purpose. I have to work on my computer program and I also have to work on the audio processing. algorithm it takes an input from my microphone and then it reverses it. It reverses it. It reverses it, as you can hear. And then it splits the signal, allowing me to have allowing me to have separate control over the right and left channels, independent control such as this. So now I can pitch shift no, one channel down as low as say, well, two octaves, and the other one up an octave. <laughs> and I can make these changes on the fly during a performance. Now this can be done either to my voice or as I mentioned to all the other instruments that I have available to me, depending on the performance. I can also control things like the delay, bringing it down to a very short delay time, which might give me kind of a strange sound. Or I can start playing with delay and having very accurate control. In addition to this, I can also use a MIDI pedal and actually sample and hold these things so that so they continue to repeat. Now that I have them in my delay line, I can continue to process them. I can also continue to add to them. Oh or even with other some other instruments. <laughs> it's the transitions between the parameters that has been most interesting to me. So often when I make a change from the lowest pitch shift to the highest pitch shift, it's what happens in between that has been interesting sonically to me. And so because of that, I created a series of presets within my program that allow me to make these changes on the fly from a MIDI instrument, could be a keyboard or in this case my MIDI sliders, in a way that's far more efficient than if I were to do the same thing on the front panel. In fact, it would be impossible from the front panel of the unit. And with Max, a programming language that has been put out by Opcode, I can write custom computer programs that allow me to um, have even more control. And I've been developing these com computer programs over the last several years. 
And so here we are, about to go into another patch. It sends a program change for me automatically and brings up both a control panel for the algorithm and something that tells me about how my MIDI controllers are going to behave right now. And so I can pitch shift up, 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 or down. Oh, yeah, oh, oh. Or I can play through my presets. And play it like an instrument. Here's the sustain toggle. Sustain. <laughs> By controlling this through the computer, I've given myself control in some cases on a higher level by setting up some algorithms that perhaps would um, look at a delay time and double it or have it so I can predict the musical outcome. I mentioned that I sometimes work very close to feedback and what I've found is that I can actually sequence my presets that I've written. If I do that at the unit itself then I get a break in the sound as it goes from preset to preset. But if I do it within here I can get predictable sounds that could be used within a composition such as this. This is one of the areas in which my processing system differs significantly from a sampler because in my performances I use absolutely no pre-recorded audio. I only use audio that's currently in the room or that's being generated by one of the musicians there or in some cases I just turn up all the microphones and let the room feed back and then play with the feedback. <laughs> 